Hello, Annie. Can you hear me? No, this moment. Okay. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? Oh, I'm okay, thanks. Welcome, Lucrecia, Annie, Carlos. Hi. Hi. Hi, thank you. Good. Where's the cake, Lucrecia? <laughs> We're still waiting. Already. <laughs> I already ate the cake. I promise, already. the promise. <laughs> yep. We have your address already. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe next year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Corina, welcome back. Good night. Good, good night. <laughs> uh huh. Did you guys have a good day? Yes. Okay. Fine. So today uh, is the. Yes. I, I, when I, when I go out to work, uh -huh. I, I found a lot of traffic. It was amazing. San Salvador was collapsed today. Yes. And I don't know why. Um, you know, when, when I was coming from Lourdes to San Salvador, I'm talking about like 5 p.m., there was a, an accident between a, a, and a truck and a motorcycle. So that was generating uh, a, a lot of traffic. Yes. And then it was raining, it was payday. Uh -huh. uh, exactly. Halloween, <laughs> people are running. Yes. So those components influence uh, traffic somehow. Yeah, right. Uh huh. And um, so that's that's basically why maybe we had traffic today. Yes. For, for Multiplaza, it's very difficult to pass. What time? But, uh, seven thirty. I imagine. Six and between six and thirty. <coughs> seven thirty. Yep. yep. I, I teach a class at 5.30 near Plaza Futura, Torre Futura, and some of my students, they were late because there was traffic everywhere. A lot. Yeah. Too much. We have too many cars. Yes. A lot. <laughs> yeah, too many cars, a lot of people. The streets are not big. It's payday. It's payday. Yes. yes. So different things. Yes. All right. So the 31st of October, last day of the month. So say goodbye to October. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Bye. say hello to November. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Uh, Let, let's see what November has for us. Surprise okay. me in November. I know. <laughs> Bring good things. <laughs> exactly. Good. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about yesterday. Uh, do you remember the activities we did yesterday? Mm, so, so about appearance. Appearances. 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 Yes. Appearances. Appearances. Do you think appearances are important? Very, very important. Sure. Sure. Yeah. For the world and the job. Right. Mm -hmm. What happens when you go to a job interview? How are you supposed to be dressed? Look, they're nice. For Formal. Formal, yes. Okay. Your hair very nice. <laughs> yeah, take a shower that day. Ah, <laughs> yes, <it's> day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you're supposed to take a shower every day, but especially if you have a job interview. 
Yeah, yeah you, you have to look uh, nice and neat. Uh -huh. When was the last time you went to a job interview? Four years. Four years ago. Four years ago. Do you remember how you were dressed? Uh, with jacket and pants. Mm -hmm. With jacket. And my, my, the hair is very, very nice. <laughs> okay. And, and makeup. Shoes. Okay. Because, because in the bank is very important. <coughs> the appearance. Sure. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And were you wearing pants or a skirt? Pants. Okay. But it's, it's, it's for, it's for uh, I like the pants. But it is 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 no no use. I don't use uniform. Oh, you don't use uniform. No. Okay. It's, it's, it's free. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the others? Corina, Flor, Lucrecia, Christine. Do you wear high heels? What kind of shoes do you use during the day? Well, I I don't use high heels. Medium. Okay. Medium. Um, four or or six uh, high heels. Okay. So but not too much. I I don't support. Them. Okay, you can't stand them. Yeah, you know, like the shoes that uh, you use influence on your back a lot yes and and when you go to, with a chiropractor you know they tell you look don't use high heels because that uh 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 what, what's the word damage your back mm -hmm. yeah. yes i i in my work we we, we don't we don't have a, a dress code uh, we can use flats or or boots or high heels, medium heels. Uh, and some, sometimes I use a platform. Uh, no sé si se dice. Yeah, you can say. Platform. Yeah, you can okay. say. Okay. Uh, sometimes I use uh, high heels with platforms with flats because in the agency uh, we can look more relaxed sure so, <laughs> so so i can see that it, it is your option if you look casual informal right yeah, in, 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 your, my, in my job, in my uh -huh. job is is part of of our dress code uh, to use to use high heels formal. Yeah, uh, it mm -hmm. is very important. Right, right. You know, this morning I went to have breakfast. Uh, I usually eat in my house, but today I didn't have much time, so I went to McDonald's. I was running. So it, it was Halloween, it is Halloween. So the, the, the ladies in the restaurant, they were wearing a custom. One of them was Minnie Mouse, but she was using high heels. And I said, poor girl, she's gonna be using high heels running all day. Yes. You know? Uh, in uncomfortable. Very. Very. So I imagine this poor girl when she went home, her feet were like this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So. But, it's a sacrifice. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Many times, you know, uh, people sacrifice their physical condition health. just to, yeah, their health, just to look better. Mm. For elegance. No, thank you. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> me neither. Just, 
I just want to make sure that I'm comfortable with everything that I wear. Yes. So, better in, it's better than tennis. Sure. Oh, tennis is the best. <laughs> tennis and shorts. <laughs> no. No. Right. Okay. Um, let's see. What's the... Have you... Have you finished the exercises in the platform? No, uh, no, yet. no, teacher. And the platform, uh, there is, um, there is exercise. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know hear the audios. And uh, for example, I. Yeah. I, I don't, don't remember the topic, but uh, but one one don't know here. But did did you receive a message of why you couldn't have access to the audio, Flora? No, it's sorry, sorry. Because sometimes it's the computer that you need to update. Because sometimes yeah. your computer needs certain applications so you can play the audio. If your computer doesn't have them, then you're gonna have issues. I I think I think you you can you can hear the audio because um, many many cost, customers was visit the platform in, in that moment. Yes, that's a possibility uh, too. Uh, okay. Uh, the, the topic is let's let celebrate. I I didn't hear the okay. audio uh, because I need to um, complete the, the question. Okay. But um, I didn't. What time, do you remember the time that you were trying to do the exercise, Flora? Was it in the morning, at noon? And the night. At night? At night. What time? Uh, 11. 11? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's normal. So I think it's better if you put the alarm at 2 in the morning and do the exercise <laughs> at that time. <laughs> <laughs> the platform is gonna be just for you. Only. <laughs> well, I I have a problem with with that topic because um I hear I hear the audio, but when I I when I do the the exam the exam I I can I can do it. Why not? I write the answers, but I don't understand what I have to to write. Okay. Now remember yeah. that uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago I told you that sometimes even when you write the correct answer, the platform is going to tell you that there is a problem or that your or that your answers are not good. But don't pay attention to it because we are aware of that situation. Now, in your case, maybe you need to read the instruction. Did you read the instructions, Corina? Yes, yes. And the first time, <laughs> all, all of the sentences was wrong. Okay. Um, uh, I repeat them and only only two only two was okay okay i i don't know what else okay so maybe when, when if you're having problems when you're using the platform maybe something you can do is um disconnect yourself and log in again sometimes it's just a matter of you know it's technology. It's not you. It's not your computer. It's the platform. So sometimes it would be a good idea that if you unplug yourself and then connect again. Okay. Okay. For example, uh, the, the topic is um, carnival time. I didn't hear. I didn't okay. hear all, this. all right. 
Me. I think I, I played that audio here, huh? Did I play that audio with you guys? Yesterday. I Yesterday. So. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. So I have the I have the file here. I can send it to you too to make sure that you have access to it. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. I have a commentary. Sure. Yes, Janita. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Um, Hello. Uh, Hello. <laughs> when you sent us the link, I made an exam, but I didn't uh, make um, all the sections, you know. Okay. And <laughs> in the exam, there is an, an part of a uh, change the, um, the phrase. Um, when you uh, uh, when you put um, could you please can you please uh, yes uh, I remember sentence. that topic but the problem is I didn't pay, uh, write the um, the, si the sign of question oh the and question think, mark yeah the question mark and I think uh, this, that's the reason the the cat platform uh, made a um, a, a, a qualified uh, run wrong to every yes. That's um, a good observation. Be careful. For the people didn't make the the same um, wrong question mark. Question mark. At me. Question mark. Uh -huh. you, you have to put it. I didn't put in, in all the. The, um, the answers the were part, bad. Uh, yes. And I okay. feel like frustrating. And I try to make a again, but it, like it's in exam, uh, I didn't. Okay. okay, but don't worry. Don't uh, worry. So, uh, uh, <laughs> don't, don't cry, don't cry. No, don't, don't take it personal. It's only a platform. Okay. Uh, so that's, a, that's a very good observation, and that is for everybody. Be careful, yes. Exactly, because if the answer that you're given needs the question form, make sure that you include the question mark too, because the platform doesn't recognize it as a good answer if you don't include the question mark. Imagine. Okay. <laughs> right? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Yeah. For the next level. Yep. <laughs> so ne next, next time. Thank you. you. Yeah. So I next, better. <laughs> yeah. Next time that you, you're, you're writing your answers, make sure that if it's a question, you need to include the question mark too. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Yep. All right. Um, so we, this is our last class of the week. We continue on Monday. Right now, uh, do you remember how many tenses we have in English? Eight. Eight. Twelve. 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 <coughs> we, have, twelve. we have twelve tenses. Do twelve. you remember the names? Mm, present, present, future. Present, simple past. Simple past, present, future. Present, continuous. Uh-huh. As participle. Perfect and perfect. As participle. Perfect. Okay, perfect. remember, past participle is the form of the verb. It's not a tense. Yes. Uh, now, past participle is the, is the verb that you use when you're using present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, blah, 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 and so on. Okay? Now... Okay. If I want to talk about the plans that I have for this weekend, which tenses do you think that I need to use? Future. Which future? Will and uh, going. Okay, will and going to, that is simple future. Do we have other options for future? Adding A in G. Future Present continues. continues. Uh, or present continues. continues too. Good. Uh -huh. yeah. What else? Can you use the simple present for future? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, 
No, can you use the simple present for future? Yes, you can. Examples. But you need a time expression. For example, yes. my sister arrives tomorrow. My sister tomorrow. arrives tomorrow. Okay. The tense. What is the tense in that sentence? Present. present. Simple present. present. Simple present with a future meaning. Yeah. Simple present with a future meaning. So what uh, somebody here was saying present continuous. Can you use the present continuous for future? Can you use the present continuous for future? Yes, uh, yes, yes. Yes, you, yes can. you can. What's the condition? Maybe uh, we have to use time expression. Very good. If you include the time expression, then the meaning of the sentence is in future. Now, if I said, uh, Francisco, what plans do you have on Saturday? I'm going to say, I'm staying home. I'm staying home. How do you say that one in Spanish? I'm staying home. Voy a estar en casa. Me voy a quedar en casa. So the meaning is in future, but I'm using the present continuous uh, structure, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Now, what about future continuous? What is the future continuous? Uh, example. Yes, give an example. Um, I am, I am, I will, I will drink, I will drinking. I will, yeah, be, drink. will be drinking. Uh, I will be, I will drinking. be drinking. Okay, yeah. okay, so if I ask you, uh, where will you be tomorrow at 3 p.m.? Where do you see yourself tomorrow at 3 p.m.? I will, I will, I will be, be working. working. I will be working, I will be having lunch, I will be speaking in a meeting, I will be receiving clients. That is future continuous, right? So when you're talking about your plans, you can make a combination of different tenses. Simple future, present continuous, future continuous, the simple present, and so on. But this part is just a the theory. Right now, you guys are gonna be doing the practice. So I'm going to give you five minutes, you guys work in pairs, and you guys will talk about the different plans that you have for tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. What is so special about Saturday? What's so special Sunday. about this Saturday? Soul day. Soul day, day right? Day. So for many people, that's a very special day. When you go to the cemetery, you go to the graveyard, and you pay your respects for the dead, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to make pairs, and you guys will be talking about the different plans that you have for this weekend. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. okay. Raul, Cristina, and Jose. Hi. All right. Talk about the plans you have for this weekend. Raul, Cristina, Jose. Okay, for this weekend. Uh, first of all, I will wake up late. <laughs> okay. And after that, I I have to go for my mom. And I think we will buy some uh, something for 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 this uh, family grace. 
flowers and I don't know what more. And after that, I, I don't know. Okay, what about Christina and Jose? I, tomorrow I, I will be working all day. What are your plans for the Saturday? For example, I I don't celebrate the the second November. You don't uh, do anything. Uh, sorry. You don't do anything on November second. Uh, no, no anything. And but I I have plans for the Saturday. For example, no, no. For example, and Saturday. I will go to the church with my wife and my daughter uh, in the morning and and the and, and, uh, at night uh, I I will go to to the supermarket and we will buy the the Grocery, sure. Grocery and and another thing, and uh, later, uh, uh, my wife, uh, my wife uh, will prepare uh, uh, my favorite food. What is your favorite food? Pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> Man, same thing in my house. You know, when my ma when my wife makes pupusas, she knows that I'm really happy. Uh, yes, it's a celebrate. <laughs> okay. And later, uh, no, normally uh, with my wife uh, play with my daughter. Uh, so uh, we will we will be playing with my daughter and my wife Good. and later we we will we will be watching tv and okay. netflix and <laughs> only that okay now you mentioned that you go to church what church do you go to um, we we will visit uh, Iglesia de Dios Israelita is the name. Oh, okay, and that's uh, near your sorry. house. Sorry. Is that near your house? Uh, no, 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 no. Is uh, eleven kilometers. Oh. Eleven oh. kilometers uh, because I live in Soyapango and uh -huh. the church is in uh, La Gloria. Yeah, it's kind near of to, far. Near to Walmart. Okay. No, Walmart La Gloria. What, what part of Soyapango are you in, David? Uh, sorry, the question? What part of Soyapango are you in? Ah, yes, it's in uh, Bosca de Prusia. It's oh, the okay. neighbor, neighborhood. Okay. It's the neighborhood. It's near to Unicentro, Soyapango. Okay. Good, good. What yeah. about you, Carlos? What plans do you have? Um, the day I plan to rest all day. Rest all day? Yeah. Sleep? Yeah. Um, no, do not uh, at home. Relax. Uh, relax. Um, only take a nap. A big nap. <laughs> yeah. um, and do some uh, rom roaming, roaming. 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 Okay. Who lives with you, Carlos? Who lives with you? Do you uh, have children? Do you have children, Carlos? Yeah. How many? Two children. Boys or girls? Boys. What age? Uh, eight, 18. 
18, uh-huh. And 12. 18 and 12. Mejor ellos entienden lo que estoy diciendo. That's good. So, how many people in your house? How many people um, in your house? Four people. Four people. Who are they? Who um, are the four people? Um, my, my two sons yes. and my wife. Okay, very good. And your children, they study. Um, um, el, uh, the holders in yes. university. Okay. Um, what career? Um, Marketing. Uh, no, no. Engineering. Chemistry um, and pharmacy. pharmacy. Oh, okay. At the National University? And the National University. Good, very good. And the other one? Uh, five grade? Five grade? Fifth grade. Fifth grade, fifth grade. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Okay, good. All right, so let's return to, to the main session. Okay. All right, do you have any questions? No. No. All right, everything is clear about the different activities you will do on the weekend? Yes. All right, good. Do you remember the names of the four macro skills in English? The four macro skills. Vocabulary? Mm, that is a oh. sub skill. Ah, uh, listening? No. Listening? Uh, speaking? No. Speaking? Reading? Reading? Writing. And writing. writing. Oh. What happens first? What happens first? What mm. No. Annie? What what are you talking about? Oh, right. The four macro skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Those are the four main areas in English, right? I, I listening, think, speaking, reading, writing. I think reading and writing are the first abilities. Uh, for instance, I used to answer emails and it's a little bit easy compared with listening to skills because it's easier to read than listen, uh, listen to music or a movie in English. And okay. Then that is more difficult. Sure. I completely agree with you. Uh, reading is easier than listening. Now, the question is, when you are a little baby, which one of the four do you learn first? Listening. Uh, I so listening in the speaking. Okay, so the first one is listening. Speaking. What's number two? Speaking. 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 What's the number best. three? Uh, reading. 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 And the last one is? Writing. 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 Right. Very good. So listening, speaking, reading, and writing. writing. Now, how do you practice listening? Yes, uh, who's the one with the television? Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Good. Okay, so we have four. 
Now, how do you practice your listening at home? I watch movie on Netflix. And I, I turn off the subtitles sometimes when okay. I don't understand. Okay. But I, I change the language in English. Good, very good. And, and we discussed this question like, like two days ago because we had a listening activity. Today, we have another one. But this time is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to give you four questions. I give you the questions, you copy the questions, I play the audio, you listen to the audio, and you answer the questions. Do you have pen and paper with you? Yes. 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 No. Okay, or maybe you want to take notes in the computer, that's, that's fine too. So okay. pen and paper, or you can use the computer if you wish. <coughs> Okay, are you ready? Yes. 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 Question one. Where is he working? Where is he working? Okay. Question number two. Question mark. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Question number two. What department is he in? What department is he in? Question three. What is he mostly doing? What is he mostly doing? Doing. What? Doing. Is he mostly, is he mostly doing? doing? And question number four, what is the worst? What is the worst? Okay. Worst? <clears throat> what is, is the, the worst? worst? Uh -huh. Can somebody share the first <laughs> question in the chat? Somebody, anybody, share the first question. Very good. Where is he working? What department is he in? Very good. What is he mostly doing? Good. And what is the worst? <coughs> Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Do you agree with Daniel? Yes. yes. Yeah. Daniel's questions are good, so you should have the same. I now, have the same. <laughs> I okay. Got now, are yeah. the questions clear? Yes. Um, Any vocabulary that maybe you don't understand? I have no. a doubt. Okay. The, what is your doubt? Uh, mostly. Mostly. Okay, um, what is he mostly doing? What is he mostly doing? Can somebody explain mostly? Mm, is it more principal? Yes, mainly. Main main. 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 Mainly. 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 Okay. How, how would you say that question in Spanish? Lo, lo más importante, ¿qué está, lo más importante que está haciendo. O mayormente, no. Yeah, mayormente. Ah, okay. ¿Qué es lo que más haces? Oh, ¿Qué es lo que más hace él? ¿Qué es lo que mayormente está haciendo? Ok. All right. Ok, any other questions? No. Are, are the questions clear? Yes. Ok, so here we go. I'm going to mute everybody so we don't have any interruptions. So everybody's going to be mute and the only sound that you will hear is the sound of the conversation. So I hope that the quality is good. So here we go.
Listening mini test one. Questions one through three. Listen to part of a discussion between two friends. Hey, Sammy. How's your job at the library working out? You're at the university library, aren't you? Yeah, it's great. I've been working in the acquisitions department. Oh, what do you do there? Logging in new books, mostly. It's kind of neat, because I get to open all the boxes that arrive. Boxes containing all the newly purchased books. It's kind of like a birthday, unwrapping presents. That sounds like fun. That part is, but then I have to enter each book into the computer. I don't mind that too much, but the worst, <laughs> the worst thing is attaching the barcode on the cover. How was the sound? I need to hear the audio again. Okay. Yes. Okay. I couldn't Are you hear it. Notes? It's not clear. Yes. Okay. One more time. Here we go. Yes, please. Questions one through three. Listen to part of a discussion between two friends. Hey, Sammy. How's your job at the library working out? You're at the university library, aren't you? Yeah, it's great. I've been working in the acquisitions department. Oh, what do you do there? Logging in new books, mostly. It's kind of neat, because I get to open all the boxes that arrive. Boxes containing all the newly purchased books. It's kind of like a birthday, unwrapping presents. That sounds like fun. That part is, but then I have to enter each book into the computer. I don't mind that too much. But the worst, the worst thing is attaching the barcode on the cover. How many answers do you have? Two. You need to hear it one last time. I don't know. He, he works in the library. university library. Library. University library. In the department. Okay. What library? University, oh, university. library. Ah, the university. What department? I, I can hear you. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Acquisition. <laughs> Somebody's watching TV. We're yeah. in the TV. Please turn off. Okay. Um, who is turn the, off the television, please. Yes. Who's watching television? Uh-huh. Okay. That's better. Yes. Uh, always try to find a, a good space. Okay. Um, now it's better. I'm gonna play the audio one more time so you guys take advantage that it's quiet now. Okay, okay. thank you. One more time, here we go. Yes. yes. Hey Sammy, how's your job at the library working out? You're at the university library, aren't you? Yeah, it's great. I've been working in the acquisitions department. Oh, what do you do there? Logging in new books, mostly. It's kind of neat, because I get to open all the boxes that arrive. Boxes containing all the newly purchased books. It's kind of like a birthday, unwrapping presents. That sounds like fun. That part is, but then I have to enter each book into the computer. I don't mind that too much, but the worst, <laughs> the worst thing is attaching the barcode on the cover. <laughs> All right, did you get the answers? I think so. <laughs> okay, that's good. Remember, it's 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 okay to make mistakes, uh, and especially listening. It sometimes takes a lot of a lot of practice. Okay, um, everybody, please go to the chat. Um, who has the first question? The first answer, actually. 
Un university library. Yes. Where is he working? Can you type the answer, please? University library. Very good. What is the second question? What department is he in? Okay, very good. What department? Does anybody have the answer? Acquisition. Acquisition, Acquisition department. department. Acquisition. You see the chat? Yes. 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 Now, what is the meaning of acquisition department? I don't know. The department that used like to the buy. Like inventario. Like oh. inventario. Buy. Buy. Okay. Inventory. Uh, Everybody in the group, you guys work in different companies. So maybe some of the functions are delegated to different departments. Now in English, usually when you're talking about the acquisitions department, you're talking about the area that is responsible to receive the new orders coming from the outside. Okay. okay. So okay. if you post, let me give you an example. You work in the library and you are expecting 20 books. Uh, when you receive the 20 books, you have to make sure that the number is correct, that the books are correct. And when you agree and when you are satisfied, you sign a paper saying, look, it's okay, it's fine. So that is the acquisition. Okay. okay. Any product that you are receiving, it has to go to the acquisition department. What is question number three? Wait, wait. How, how do you write acquisition? It's in the chat. Do you see the chat? Yes. Acquisition. CQ. Exactly. CQ. Yes. Acquisition. Now, in your office, who is responsible to receive any new orders of, of material or, or products? I am. Corina. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am. An administration department. Okay. Okay. So I buy and Corina receive. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So maybe it's human resources. Maybe it's the manager. Maybe it's reception. Every company works different. Okay. What about question number three? What is mostly doing? doing. Okay. What is he mostly doing? Both <laughs> Mm, not exactly. So he opens new boxes, but that's that's only one of the uh, responsibilities he has. Oh, okay. What is he mainly doing? Mostly doing? <coughs> Anybody? No. Okay. Let me give you a tip. Imagine that you work in the library and you receive. Physically speaking, you receive the 20 books. The books are okay, you are satisfied. What do you do next with those 20 books? Keep in you have for the place. Order it. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you order them physically. Yes. What do you do next? Enter. You have to yeah, inventory. Right. And where is the inventory? In the computer. Exactly. So what do you do? Use the computer to record enter, the new books. Enter to the system. Made an inventory. You what see the chat? Login in the new, oh, in new Login in new books. Login in new books main mostly. Ah yes, it's the word. Login in new books mostly. I heard oh. ending. Edwin. Uh -huh. Edwin. <laughs> Who is Edwin? And in a book. <laughs> oh. Okay, so logging in new books. So once again, physically speaking, you receive the books. 
the books already exist, but they mm -hmm. also need to exist in the system, right? So yes. if, you yes. receive, if you receive 20 books, those 20 books have to be somewhere in the computer. So they keep track. Yes. Now, what is the last question, last answer? What is the worst? What is the worst? What's the worst? A touch in the bark. Touch in the bark. Very good. Can you put it in the I, chat, please? Please. Please. It says, but the worst, the worst thing is attaching the bark on the cover. I don't understand. Attach. Attach. <laughs> Oh. Uh, attaching the barcode on the cover. Okay. What what is the meaning of of that? Attaching the barcode on the cover. Uh huh. What is a barcode? The, the print of the, the the label to print the label. The label. What label? What label? It's when called bar. Ah, so what what, label. what color? What color is the barcode? White, black, black, white, white and black. White and black. White and black. It's for scan a book. Okay, exactly, exactly. So you put the barcode. Where do you put it? Do you put it in the book or on the book? On the, oh. book. On the, on the book. book. On the book. So you put it on the book. How do you say pedir prestado in English? Lend. Lend. Okay, lend is dar prestado. Pedir borrow. prestado. Borrow. Uh -huh. borrow. Borrow. Uh, borrow. Borrow. Uh, so <laughs> you go to a library and you borrow a book. Before you receive the book, they have to register the book in the system. And the system will say, Francisco has the book for 24 hours. That is borrow. So what's the difference between borrowing land, now that you mention it? Land is when you, when you return the book to the library. Borrow, borrow yeah. when you ask. Land uh, is like for the financial you. money. You ask. In the bank, a lend. Lend when you give, when? Lend is when you give the, the box. Exactly. exactly. So let me give you this. You see the difference? Uh, the message uh, is exactly the same. Can I call so? The difference is, if you mention the person that needs the favor, you say borrow. If you mention the person that is going to do you the favor, then you say lend. Mm. See the difference? Yes. Can I borrow five dollars? Or I can say, can you lend me five dollars? The message is exactly the same. It's just that it's a matter of who's giving and who is receiving. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Any questions about the listening? Right now, don't. Okay, good. Now, um, next week in the platform, you will see a topic that is called conditionals. Do you guys remember conditionals? If. If. Well, if. if. Either, either. Okay. Yeah. If. Okay, what happens if you drink water? 
What's going to happen to your body if you drink water? We'll be hydrated. Okay, you will be hydrated. Hydrated. You will be hydrated. 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 Okay, so it, it, when you see the platform next week, you will see this topic. Do you remember? Do you remember how many conditionals we have in English? I Two. Agree. First conditional and second conditional. Uh huh. How many do we have all together? Zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional. Okay. What else? <laughs> yes. So. It, the one that I'm showing you here, if you drink water, you will be hydrated. Which conditional is that? If. The conditional is if. Okay. But what is the name? Zero conditional. Okay. Zero conditional is something that yes. is always true. This one here, you do something now and the result is in the future. Yeah. So that is Third. future condition. First condition. First. Okay. So the first conditional, you're talking about something that you do now with a result in the future. Okay. Okay. Right? Now the the second conditional, the third conditional, they are a little bit different. But to start with, once again, when you visit the platform next week. You can see uh, the first conditional. But we're going to be talking about this uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. So we have time. Okay. 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 Do you have any questions about today? No. 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 Um, everything is fine? Okay so, okay. okay, so once again, I want to thank you for your time, for being here. We continue Monday, same place, same time. Okay. 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 Have thank a you. nice weekend and get thank some rest. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. You too. Bye. Take care.